I'm the God of Thunder, guys. Well, that's what I said to me daughter, but she says I look more like Captain Caveman with a caveman lollipop. Mmm, very nice. We've got here a beef shank, and I've taken it inside, and I've taken off as much of the silver skin as I can. We've tidied up that bone, and then I've just trussed it up to make it a bit easier to hold together while it smokes in that barbecue. But we're going to smoke this in our Kamado Kettle Joe. Nice beefy rub. Over here, real heavy oak smoke flavour. So let's get on with it. First things first, I've got some charcoal down in my basket at the bottom. We'll get that tumbleweed fire light a little up. And we're going to use some Worcestershire sauce as a bit of a binder. Oh, I nearly needed to be the God of Thunder there to open that up. And we're going to pop it on our board. It probably would tack up enough, but I just want to make sure because of some coarse ground uh, pepper in the uh, rub, that it just has an opportunity to stick. I will leave the recipe down below for the rub, but use any beefy rub that you want. But we want a nice liberal coating on this shank just keep that uh, Worcestershire sauce and rub going oh man it's already looking lovely lickable I agree with my daughter it probably is a good caveman lollipop There you go, dust it up, we're going to let that sweat up, tack up, we'll wait for them embers to form and then we'll pop in our oak. Right, got that oak down in the bottom, let's set up our Heat deflector plate. We're going to put pizza pan in as a small dripping pan and then set up them grill grates. I have done a test fit and it won't stand up. So unfortunately, Fars Hammer Caveman Lollipop is going to have to lay down so you want to position it in the center of the grill i am going to put the thicker bone side down to protect that meat we'll pop in the meter probe we're going to set that up to alert us at 96 degrees celsius internal temp but we're not going to take it all that way unwrapped we're just going to give it a couple of hours to roll in that heavy oak smoke and then we're going to get to wrapping it once we're happy with the colour to retain all that moisture and to protect that uh, bone marrow that's in there as well. We're going to set the bottom vent to a one finger open and the top vent to a one notch open. And that seems to be the sweet spot at the moment for that 120 degrees Celsius smoking temp. And we'll pop in the probe, we'll close up that lid. I'll see you when it's time to check her out. Two and a half hours guys internal temp on the meat is 48 degrees but it's time to pull because that back Ooh. 
is looking stunning nice and set up so i don't want to take it any further i want to protect that bone marrow that meat so we're going to wrap i'm going to pop out that meter probe i've made myself some compound butter or finishing butter just just a stick of butter with garlic and parsley running through it and then set in the fridge we'll slice some of that up so we've got the butter we'll take some slices and we'll pop them in and around the beef we'll sit it on top in one second Plenty of buttery, garlicky goodness. Stick it on that meat. And then we're going to wrap it up. Like I say, nice and tight. Check all them juices inside. I'm going to make a nice meaty parcel. We'll keep that bone at the bottom. I'm going to take our meter probe and stick it back in. I so say we've set that to notify us at 96 degrees Celsius. So we'll pop it back on the Camado and we'll see you when it comes up to temp. And the wait is over, guys. We've got Boar's Hammer Caveman Lollipop. We've got some fresh made um, tortillas. We have some super crispy 15 hour chips. Check out the link up here to the video. And we've got some veggies. Let's just have a, a pull. See if I can get some. Oh my God, look at that smoke penetration. Just have a look, hopefully you can see. I'm not going too close. Beautiful smoke ring. That's absolutely amazing beefy goodness. If we took one of our tortillas, we could have a few peppers, a few tomatoes, some mushrooms, some onions, and then just some hunks of that beautiful smoky beef that's just fall apart. Tender, the dogs are going absolutely crazy. That is one. No, the dogs are getting it on. That is heaven in a bread bomb. Absolutely stunning. I hope you've enjoyed the cook, guys. If you have, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if not, check out this video over here. I'm going to take this in because. Everyone in the house will be dying to try some of this. One super clean bone. Two very happy doggies.